We still have that winner's interview here for the last match of the day, the loser's match of Group B. We did have Team WE taking that victory, and now we'll have a chance to talk to Yuta, the support player for WE. First up, you guys had a really tough loss uh, in Game 1 against TSM, and in a tournament setting like this, a bunch of best of ones, you got to fight to get out of the group. How did you recover to prepare for the loser's match? Uh, uh, so in the first game, we were all really nervous. And after the game, we tried to congratulate, not, not congratulate, we tried to um, cheer each other up and played a lot better as a result. Sounds good. I'm glad you guys were able to just come together as a team. Now, something that's caught everyone's eye is that Diana pick, but not just the pick, but the teleport on Diana in both games in the mid lane by Shiye. Is this a strategy you guys practiced as a team, or is this maybe something that he was just most comfortable with uh, since he was a substitute player coming in? Uh so we've definitely practiced it before, and the reason why we chose TP is because we want to play towards the late game, because we're a relatively new team with the new players, and that was our goal for the game. All right, well, it worked out in game, or your second game, leading you to this deciders match tomorrow in day two. It will be up against CJ Entis. How prepared are you to fight for that spot in the semifinals? Alright, so we definitely have a lot of confidence that we'll win the game. And before this, actually, we um, wanted to just play well for our next game. Sounds good. Well, we'll all be looking forward to those desire matches tomorrow. Congratulations once again to Team WE for making it to that final match in Group B. This was it for day one here in Katowice for the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship. Be sure to tune in tomorrow to find out who's going to the semifinals and who's going towards that cup. We'll see you guys tomorrow in day two.